Hello YouTube, it is mid-September 2017 and these are my Victorinox uh, Swiss Army Knives. Um, you gotta love Swiss Army Knives, man. Uh, I remember as a kid I had, uh, I had one, it was basically my introduction to knives. Um, I wish I still had that knife. Uh, who knows what happened to it. But uh, it was a great introduction and... Uh, my love of Swiss Army knives has never really gone away. Um, very handy uh, from the keychain sizes to the back pocket to the pouches. They're just great knives. Um, start out down here with my uh, classic SDs. Uh, these cost around 15 bucks a piece. Um, I actually got the majority of these. Uh, from a from a big lot sale on eBay, uh, I believe most of them are uh, confiscated uh, TSA knives, and uh, I don't think I paid more than thirty bucks, and I got I, like ten of them, ten or twelve. So, anyways, let's take a look. Uh, the classic has uh, a knife, a nail uh, file with a screwdriver. That's the top layer. On the bottom, it's got the the great mini scissors. One of the main reasons I carry this is for these scissors. Uh, tweezers and a toothpick. And this is their this is their dark blue. Uh, the light blue. These are all the uh, plastic scale versions. I don't have any A locks. Uh, classics. Uh, here's the uh, Shamrock. Shout out to uh, Patty's Potato Pe Peelers. Uh, I know he'd appreciate this one. Uh, the black. Uh, the white. I believe this one's on backwards. This one you can definitely tell has some wear to it. The pink, translucent pink, that's kind of cool, you can see all the tools. Translucent red, translucent purple, yellow. Pull these out again in case you didn't see them. And the U.S. flag. Again, about fifteen a piece. Uh, next up is the uh, the Hunter. It was a sixty dollar knife. Just a blade, lock back. Uh, I believe the blade seal on these is some kind of 440. But this is a nice knife. Kind of a rubberized uh, handles. You can see the, uh, the emblem in there. Don't really carry this much. Um, no pocket clip and for the size on this. Um, this would be more of a pouch carry, I guess, on your belt. A $60 knife. Uh, next up is the, uh, one-hand trekker, the German version. This is a great knife. It's got that German, German symbol on it. Uh, this has got a locking blade, serrated, partially. Uh, there's your lock mechanism. Uh, it's got your opening layer here. Can opener, screwdriver, bottle opener, screwdriver, wire stripper. Uh, what else is this? Got a saw, I believe. Yeah. The wood saw. Oh, geez, that screwdriver locks too. I never noticed that. The uh, 
Phillips screwdriver, kind of the T configuration. Uh, the awl, uh, no, uh, no needle hole. That is a fifty-four dollar knife. Great knife. Next up, we'll jump up to the uh, the Alox uh, Pioneer here. This has got your knife, or your opening layer, again. Your knife. And the punch, the awl. Now I have that in uh, the green here. I have the uh, dark blue. And the black one. These are just great. Very uh, handy tool set. If it had scissors, I'd probably carry these all the time. Uh, uh, they're thirty-five bucks a piece. Uh, next up is the uh, Pioneer X or Ten. I'm not sure which. Uh, it's basically the same as this, but with scissors. So this one does get carried quite a bit. Opening layer. Uh, let's take a look at these big scissors. I have pretty short nails, so this is sometimes tricky. But yeah, great scissors. And this is the uh, silver Alox. Gorgeous. I like these because it's kind of their natural colors, so to speak. Uh, next up, uh, that was a, again, a $35 knife. The Farmer, 35 bucks. It's basically the Pioneer, but it's got a saw. So the opening layer again. Uh, let's take a look at the saw. And this one's in the orange. Which is great. In case you drop it on the ground, unless it's in the fall, then you're fucked. Uh, excuse my French. Uh, next up are my cadets. Oh, that's also a thirty-five dollar. These are uh, basically forty bucks. Uh, red Alox. This has got the opening layer, the knife. And the uh, nail tool, this is a file and uh, not a screwdriver, but a, you know, to get under your nails. Uh, also have, I have it in violet. Oh, and I have the, uh, the engraving plate on the back. And the, uh, I guess, turquoise. Next up is the Evo Grip S18 in yellow. Uh, this is one of my most carried. I take this camping with me all the time. I uh, got a locking blade. That's your uh, disengagement here. It's got the, uh, the nail tool. Uh, your opening layer. A little different. This is more the, uh, I think the the Wenger style openers. This one's got some junk on it. It's gritty too. From uh, we were uh, canoe camping, and uh, it's definitely got some sand in it. I'll have to clean it out. Got a saw. And the uh, and the scissors. Now this model, I'd have to give credit for my buying it to uh, Knife Tex. This was one of his uh, most recommended, uh, and uh, I would definitely agree with him. And it's also got the 
the alt with the needle hole. And the toothpick and tweezers. So, again, one of the most useful. And that's a $33 knife. Next up is the Ranger Wood 55. Uh, this is a $70, $70 knife. Uh, this, this blade locks as well. Big old blade. Uh, that releases the, uh, actually the emblem. Uh, what else has this got? This has got a big saw on it. Look at that honker. Wish it locked. And then your opening layer. Your bottle opener, or your uh, wine opener, corkscrew. And an all with a needle. Ah, uh, this is cool. Uh, next up is the uh, Swiss card. These are about 29 bucks. It's got your uh, multi-tool, which is a uh, Phillips and then flat heads. It just kind of slips into the side here. Uh, magnifying glass, obviously. Uh, it's got scissors. Uh, your knife, uh, ruler, uh, it's got a light, uh, it's got a pen, tweezers, a pin, and I think that's it. What do we got here? Oh, we got probably metric and uh, English units. Very cool. Um, I was carrying this in my wallet, but uh, now I just have it in a kit in my car. But uh, I have used it. I actually had to, uh, I got locked out of work one time and I used this knife blade to push the top of the, the lock mechanism down and I managed to get back in just using that Swiss Army knife. Felt like MacGyver that day. Uh, next up, Day Packer, $20 knife, just a blade. Um, the handle to uh, blade ratio is a little off, but uh, you know, decent little knife for 20 bucks. Okay. Next up, the Champion. $60 knife. Got your opening layer. Uh, it's got the magnifying glass. It's got the inline Phillips screwdriver, which is cool. Uh, scissors. The big scissors. Uh, the fish scaler and ruler. The saw. And the knife. The main knife and the pen knife. It's got the corkscrew with the um, the uh, mini uh, screwdriver insert. Uh, there's a pin. Flathead screwdriver. Another flathead. The... Uh, the parcel hook, the most useless tool that these have, <laughs> uh, the awl with the needle hole, uh, toothpick, pen, tweezers, great knife. Uh, one of my favorites, the Fieldmaster. $36 knife. I have two of these. Uh, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to go to uh, Swiss Bianca and get some copper scales for uh, for one of these. Uh, this has got your opening layer, your scissors, 
and two knot your two blades. Uh, and that's also got the Phillips head, parcel hook, and the all with a hole. Uh, does this have a pen? It's got a pin hole. I wonder if does this one have it? It's got the pin hole as well. I'll have to get the, uh, the pin for it. Which you can get whole kits of replacement parts for these. Uh, but that's the Fieldmaster. That is a uh, $36 knife. Next up is the uh, Compact. Uh, this is a $35 knife. It's got your opening layer. Or wait, does it? No, it's got scissors. got your main blade and it's got the unified uh, opener this is supposedly a can opener bottle opener flathead and wire stripper it's got the corkscrew and the uh, I think I put that on the uh, the mini screwdriver and your parcel hook but it's also got a uh, file on the back of the parcel hook which is a nice touch that's a $35 knife uh, next up is the Spartan that's about 24 bucks. this is your opening layer your knife and your small knife and then it's got the corkscrew and the uh, awl Toothpick, tweezers. Uh, next up, the Climber and Sapphire. This is a $33 knife. It's got your opening layer. Scissors. Uh, big knife. And your pen knife. Corkscrew. All and the uh, parcel carrier. That's twenty-four dollars. Thirty-three dollars, sorry. Uh, next up is the Huntsman. This is a thirty-dollar knife. It's got your opening layer, scissors, saw. Knife, big knife, main knife, pen knife, corkscrew, and the uh, mini screwdriver. Uh, well, again, I may have added that. It's got the uh, the hole for the pin. All parcel hook. Uh, that camo is nice looking. Uh, a super tinker. This is also thirty dollars. This has got a pen knife, main knife, opening layer, and scissors. And it's got the uh, Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, that's the difference between the two, I believe. Oh, this has got an extra. Oh, this has got a saw on it. I think it's this one. Yeah. Uh, next up is the Tanker in Sapphire. This is a $20 knife. Uh, this has got your opening layer, main knife, pen knife, and the Phillips head instead of the. Uh, no parcel hook. Got the all. Uh, 
And again, the hole for the pin, I'll have to get the pins. Get a bunch of those pins, apparently. Uh, next up, the Bantam, $16. This is a cool little knife. This is great for just, uh, you know, everyday carry. It's got a knife for whatever you may need. And a bottle opener, can opener, screwdriver, wire stripper. And uh, that's it. Oh, uh, tweezers and a toothpick. Uh, next up, the mini mini champ, thirty dollar knife. Love this thing. I carry this all the time. I uh, probably the most used uh, Swiss Army knife I have. Uh, this one's got. Uh, let's start here. Uh, the uh, the pharmacy spoon or cuticle pusher, whatever you want to call it. It's basically a Coke spoon. Uh, you got your uh, nail file, nail tool. You got your uh, your second blade, which is a kind of a Warncliffe. Not kind of, it is a Warncliffe. Um... I heard this is uh, actually, I always thought this was for getting into plastic packaging, but it's actually uh, for getting into pill bottles and uh, hooking out the cotton. At least that's what I saw on YouTube somebody said it was for. Uh, it also works on uh, opening plastic uh, plastic packaging, those, uh, those hard case things like that. Uh, that so much stuff comes in now. Uh, screwdriver ruler. Uh, it's got a a pen or a pen. It's got this cool universal tool, which is an opener, a stripper, and a um, mini uh, mini Phillips head. Knife. And scissors. So just a bunch of useful stuff in there. Uh, they make a version with a light on it too, but uh, you know, battery life, I tend to stay away from those. But uh. so those are my uh, Swiss Army knives. Oh, uh, just a note on the lanterns. I uh, I keep, you know, I love these little compasses. These are zipper pulls basically, and then whatever knife I'm carrying, I'll just hook this on it. Uh, I also have some other ones uh, if I'm carrying like the camo one in case I drop it I'll, uh, I'll put something easy to see on it got an orange one and you know camo ones just whatever uh, anyways those are my uh, Swiss Army knives Victorinox um, hope you liked it uh, if you did like subscribe and I'll see you next time thanks YouTube